Give it up for Robert E. Johnson III. Shout out to my brownies. You know, male lovers of My Little Pony. It's my favorite show. The purple one, that's my favorite color. He's the coolest one, he has the most heart. But the red one, that motherfucker is evil. I would like to say something real serious right now. I like white ladies. <laughs> Must have came to the perfect place. <laughs> I used to call them old white ladies, but then they got mad at that. So I started calling them owls. But then I wanted to make it a little classy, so I started calling them vintage, unpigmented empresses. And I like that a lot better. Now, uh, as soon as I walked in here, I met one, and she sold me the winning ticket. So, sorry, you guys lost. We had a connection, you know? And she ain't got a husband. I got a passenger seat for her. I like old white ladies, you know? But sometimes they call them cougars, you know, because they trap you in a cage full of home-cooked meals and great blowjobs. <laughs> and as a man, how can you get out of that? You know what I'm saying? And then they might have, like, a son my age, you know, mentally, a 14-year-old boy, and his favorite thing to do is play video games and talk shit about his mom. We have so much in common. And he probably hooked me up on some weed and or refrigerator filler. I don't know what these kids doing these days, but when I find this girl, that joke will become relevant. <laughs> Now I'm single, right? But I got this bitch at home. She got blonde hair and blue eyes. She would have survived the Holocaust. She got blonde hair and blue eyes. She's a Fox News anchor. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've been trying that joke forever, and thank you, thank you. But anyway, you know, me and this bitch, you know, we like to go for walks, you know? She rides shotgun in my car. We share meals together. We sleep together, you know? But the only bad thing is, when I leave her outside for too long, she start barking and shit. And my carpet is black and she's white, so she sheds all the goddamn time. And I gotta buy a shark vacuum. Cause I stay up late at night watching infomercials. Forgot to tell you that, it would make it funnier. But um, it's my dog. And I love that bitch, you know? And one day me and my bitch was walking, right? And we seen this lady walking her daughter. And, this, and, her, and her daughter ran over and said, hey, you have such a pretty dog. I said, thanks, little girl. And she smiled at me. And I said, hey, did the Tooth Fairy come visit you? And she said, yeah, I got $5. I was like, oh, that's cool, little girl. And I looked back at her mom, and her mom smiled, and looked like the Tooth Fairy gave her $25. <laughs> it was horrible. It was horrible. I blame it on Mountain Dew. White people can't get enough Mountain Dew. 
Um, you want to know the difference between a real Metro Detroit white girl and a fake Metro Detroit white girl? A real Metro Detroit white girl will give you blowjobs for a Tigers tickets. Also, if you take her camping, she might let you put her in her butt. Those facts are pretty true, I don't know. Give it up for this lady, everybody. Give it up for her. She's a, you right there. Yeah. That's true, black people don't camp. That is so true. So I've never got it in a butt, but. I got a whole bunch of blowjobs. And tiger ticket stubs. Tons. Blowjobs and tiger ticket stubs. Black people don't camp because. Yeah. This lady. What's your name? Are you married? Fantastic. You got a son? Yeah, okay. I'll talk to you after the show. Um, man, you made me lose my train of thought. Blow jobs and tiger tickets, right? You wanna go to the Tigers game? And camping afterwards? Yeah. <laughs> As a black man, the only thing I'm afraid of is underage white girls. So, um, you know, I like to overshoot my targets like Matt Stafford, and I start having sex with their moms. You guys wanna know why black people are always late? Because white people created time. That's the biggest middle finger we could give to you guys. And have sex with your daughters. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Oh man, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, I'm also a black superhero. I fight racial stereotypes, you know? So I tip well and I show up early. That's the only superpower I have. That's it. Also, I don't watch porn, okay? I just reminisce about all the crazy sex I've had with my Tiger ticket stubs. Anybody here like sports? Anybody like the NFL? Domestic violent prone dudes just running into each other? Yeah. yeah. Anybody like baseball? Yeah. Uh, racially ambiguous dudes swinging a stick at a white ball? Yeah. Anybody like hockey? Yeah. I don't know shit about that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, um,. I'm sorry to say this, but all you guys are dumb because you're following the wrong sports. The Lions suck and the Tigers always break your heart. But you know what I watch and the only sport I follow is women's beach volleyball. Okay, I don't give a fuck who wins or loses. I'm always winning in that situation. And um, I would like to leave you guys with this prevalent information. Anybody ever heard of the show Teen Mom? No? Oh man, it's a bunch of, I like to call it hoes having babies. But the number one sponsor for hoes having babies is Trojan brand condoms. How fucked up is that? Thank you for laughing. Give it up for yourselves. Thank you.